What's up guys, it's Dylan and today I'm going to give you another PC build which is centered around the Skylake architecture. I have decided to do this stuff at least once a month since I can't post any tech review contents that often because I have to buy the products myself. So to compensate for that, I am going to post build guides instead. For this particular build, it is targeted for those starting off into PC gaming and want to get the latest component architecture around. Basically, this can be called the Transition to PC Gaming Starter Pack due to its upgradeability path. That being said, let the setup guide begin. Starting off with the motherboard, I have chosen the Gigabyte GA H110MA. This is a pretty basic motherboard but it comes with all the features you need for a basic gaming PC. It has one 16 lane PCIe slot for your graphics card and if you plan to expand with a Wi-Fi adapter or USB port, there are still two more one lane PCIe slots. With the CPU, you have your Intel Core i3-6100 which is clocked at 3.7GHz. This is a dual core processor with 4 threads which will be just fine for gaming. Actually, in this price point, I can go with the Haswell Core i5. I know there isn't that much performance difference between Haswell and Skylake, but my point in this build is to have the latest architecture available so that you could have a better upgrade path later on. Also, I've stuffed about 33% of the budget into the graphics card since that's where most of your gaming horsepower comes from. 8GB is now the standard for gaming these days. I have chosen the G-Scale Ripjaws V clocked at 2400MHz. For storage, you have 1TB Western Digital Caviar Blue. I don't bother that much explaining about RAM and storage since there is really nothing that much to explain. It's RAM and it's ROM. Running the graphics of this PC is the Gigabyte R9 380 WinForce Overclock Edition. It has 2GB of GDDR5 VRAM which is enough for 1080p gaming, clocked at 90MHz and has a memory bus of 256-bit. In terms of I.O., it has 2 DVI, 1 HDMI, and 1 display port, which makes this card very flexible in monitor compatibility. It requires two 6-pin power connectors which will be supplied by the Seasonic M12 EVO 520W power supply. It is 80 plus bronze certified and is fully modular which is a huge significance in cable management. Housing all of the stuff mentioned, I have chosen the Corsair Carbide 200R. It is a basic mid-tower case with two USB 3.0 ports, power and restart button and audio jacks that comes with two 120mm fans in the front and in the rear for intake and exhaust airflow right out of the bat. For the drive base, you could house three 5.25 inch drives, four 3.5 inch drives, and another four 2.5 inch drives. All of those components mentioned totals to 29,900. So that's it for this build guide. If you have any questions, comment down below. If you like the video, hit the like button, and if you want to see more similar contents, hit subscribe.